I'm Yusuf Mitchler. I'm a consultant orthopaedic and trauma surgeon. I work at Sunderland Royal Hospital. My speciality is shoulder and elbow surgery as well as general trauma and I've been a consultant for five years now. Uh, it's difficult, that's a really difficult question to answer actually. There's, there's a lot of um, variety in my work so basically as we'll talk about maybe a bit later that my job is split into admin and working in clinics and outpatient clinics and also doing operations. And I think all surgeons would probably be lying if they didn't say that the operating was their favourite part of the job. That's certainly my, and the most enjoyable part, the most relaxing part actually, funnily enough. The clinics though, I also enjoy. I didn't used to when I was a registrar, if I'm being honest, but I think as I've, as I've got older I can appreciate the stories that people tell a little bit more. So actually, the honest answer is, although I really secretly enjoy the operating, I think I enjoy all parts of my job. I think we've got quite a few challenges in uh, surgery, actually in medicine in general. From my, in my day-to-day -day work, probably time is my biggest challenge. There's, there's just so much to do. I work as a, like I said, I'm a shoulder and elbow surgeon and my specialty is complex shoulder and elbow trauma. And there's a lot of that as the population gets a little bit older, as well as the fact that in our specialty we get more and more specialised. So a lot of stuff that may be my colleagues would have done themselves 20-25 years ago becomes more of a specialist um, field type of operation particularly as technology moves on as the years go by and so there's a lot to do and there's a very small team to do it so probably time in terms of finding a spot to do all that work and squeezing it onto the work is a very very hard challenge I think medicine in general is in a very challenging time at the moment I think there are a lot of political battles that are being fought there's a lot of upheaval there's chronic shortage of resources and everybody's trying to do the best they can with what we have as well as trying to change the way we practice and try and improve the lot for patients but on a very limited budget and that's certainly a very very hard thing to do but we're trying hard I think as a as a unit and a speciality the British Orthopaedic Association have taken a lead on this we there are a few um, innovations out there and, and we're, we're trying hard to meet those challenges hopefully we'll succeed So one of my favourite parts of the day in orthopaedics is that we all start the day together so that if the team are in the hospital, most of us go to the trauma meeting. So our trauma meeting in Sutherland starts around about 10 past 8. So at 10 past 8, I will sit down with my cup of tea and see what cases the trauma team have to do in the day. I'll often get asked questions about my own speciality and how I would treat those injuries and I often take those injuries as well if they're not suitable for a general trauma surgeon to do. And then there'll be uh, two sessions in a day normally a morning session and an afternoon session some people run three sessions where they have a lunchtime or an evening session in my own practice i run a morning and an afternoon session so um, normally it would be either a clinic or a theater session i look forward to the theater sessions because normally i'll start even earlier and leave the children with my wife to get their breakfast and i'll come and see the patients and mark them and consent them make sure they're happy to go ahead with their surgery and they get a chance to ask me whatever questions they like in a clinic which are often booked very heavily these days. I get a chance to have a chat with people and see people after surgery or before surgery on a Monday afternoon if you come and work with me um, or see patients who've been sent to me by the other consultants. And then the um, unfortunate truth that is administration creeps in as well so at some point in the day I'll sit down normally at lunchtime with uh, a cup of tea and something to eat and go through the mountain of paperwork or in some of we're going paperless everything's on my PC now and then eventually at some point I'll go home and depending on what day it is I'll go and pick my children up from school or from the after school club or that'll be my wife's job. Five words or less. I thought long and hard about my five words and my memory's terrible so I've written them down so I hope you don't mind I'm going to look to my left here and cheat. So the first one I've got down is uh, I like that my speciality is innovative. So of all the things that we do um, there are a lot of bits and pieces that we've taken on board perhaps before other specialities or things that we've improved and uh, my specialty in orthopedics is very very rich in research so all the things we do often get kicked around and refined and, and things have moved on so for example in joint replacement surgery bearing surfaces the two bits that rub together have evolved as the years have gone by from the 1960s when John Charney started putting hip replacements in things have improved there um, we have an awful lot of tech in this industry as you can imagine we use an awful lot of 
everybody thinks we just use power tools actually there's an awful lot of stuff plates screws uh, suture anchors I use tend to use a lot of, I don't often use a drill actually in my day to day work sorry to disappoint you um, but all the, the tech is also very innovative and the answers which the tech companies come up with to help us solve very very complex problems even in my working life so I'm uh, 20 years away from qualifying as a doctor have come on immeasurably um, the second one is fulfilling so I like my job because I think it's very very fulfilling I often see results very very quickly which in other specialities you don't do and that's something that never appealed to me so for example if you have a fracture and I manage to put a nail in it or put a plate and screws in it or even put it in a cast and let it heal I can often get you back to your normal function in the matter of a few weeks and then discharge you and it's really nice seeing you not being able to do something and then being able to do it the way you did before you had your accident I find that very very uh, fulfilling um, I think it's very inclusive at the moment I think orthopedic surgery is changing a lot and when I started out many years ago I'm struggling to think of anybody who was in orthopedic training I can think of two registrars in training with me but things have moved on leaps and bounds as, a, as they inevitably had to and I think we were lagging a bit further behind but now at the moment I think we're in a very very good time particularly for women in surgery we had a um, female president of the British Orthopedic Trainees Association a lady called Victoria uh, Butnell who had a, the pleasure of teaching on an FRCS course there are women in surgical training committees there's a huge drive to get women into orthopedic surgery which I think is a, a great thing because we need that diversity and I think orthopedic surgery has really put its house in order I think that's something we can be very proud of in orthopedic surgery um, I think it's very rewarding it's, it's a very very rewarding job to do and the difference between that and fulfilling the, re the rewards I get from training actually are great I'm a very very keen trainer I can think back to being trained very well in this deanery I train as a registrar here in the northeast as well and I'm a trainer now so I'm into my uh, fifth year of consultancy which means I've had 10 trainees which I've enjoyed every single one and part of the reason is because it drives you to keep on top of what you do it really really stops your practice getting stagnant plus I just enjoy the interaction of training and just exploring how other people think about the things I have started to take for granted I think that's a really really great thing to do so that's that's another great thing uh, the last one is I think it's a very very funny speciality to work in um, like I said we always start the day in the same place we always sit down with a cup of tea in the trauma meeting and I love the stories in a trauma meeting they're sometimes just so frankly ridiculous sometimes they're heartbreaking and sometimes they're just frankly unbelievable and I think that the interplay we have between surgeons, certainly in my unit, I'm very lucky, we, I work in a very big unit where there are uh, 17 of us here, everybody takes the mickey out of each other but the bottom line is I can think just uh, two days ago I was on court the weekend and was doing an operation which I've done hundreds of times, doing a, a hip hemiarthroplasty and managed to break a bit of the femur and I called my friend uh, Mr. Krishnan who was at home in his sick bed having taken a couple of paracetamol and he had absolutely no hesitation in getting in his car and coming and helping me out and to be honest I've done that for my colleagues and I would have no hesitation in thinking that you know the relationship we had wasn't one where I could ask them to do that and the other thing is between the nurses and the junior doctors and myself and the junior doctors and myself and the nurses everybody has that enjoyable approach to life and, and uh, I can't honestly think of anywhere else where I've ever experienced that and that's why I've been that's my that's my the, my favorite part if you're going to ask me to use five words that's probably my favorite one of the five